All right, in this tutorial, we're going to export our um, project or our AR app to our device. And we're going to do for Android first. And this is Android for Windows. Um, we need three things, Unity, definitely. Uh, so download the latest version of Unity if you haven't. And we need Java SDK 8. The latest one is Java SDK 10, but it won't work. So you will need to install Java SDK 8. So all you need to do is go to Google, search for Java SDK. And then you'll see here, Java SE Development Kit. Click on that. And you want to scroll down and choose the version for your Windows. Mine is 64-bit. So I'm going to download that, accept the license, and you will be able to download. I already downloaded mine, so um, I'm just going to click cancel. So go ahead and download and double click to start the installation. So this is the installation. I'm going to click next. Just click everything default. All right, um, then please change or click change to install. So I'm going to leave this um, to default, but you need to remember the location because we're going to use it later on. So it's program file Java. Almost, almost. This shouldn't take that long. All right, we're done. Click close, and that's it. Next is we're going to install our Android Studio. Right again, you can copy this link, or you can basically search for that Android Studio. And then click on Android Studio and download Android Studio. So the file is quite big, almost one gigabyte. It will take a while. Once you finish downloading, you will uh, just double click and install it. I already installed mine, but I'm going to reinstall again to show you guys what happens. So assuming that I have finished downloading, this is my file. I'm going to double click. Yes. All right, so this is the location uh, that it says you already found the location. Um, I'm going to uninstall mine first so that we can, you guys can follow along. So it will take a while. Um, the, all right, so these are the two options that we'll have. You can see that the space required is 2.5 gig, so it's going to be uh, quite big. Um, so I'm going to click next. So this is location where it's going to install the Android Studio. The link and install. So definitely, um, this one is quite fast. But once we um, launch it, then we need to do some other settings, and that will take quite a long time to do it. All right, so we'll get back at, uh, after this is finished. All right, I'm done. Click next. And I'm going to start the Android Studio. All right, so we'll see this. Um, the next thing you want to do is to click configure and SDK manager. All right, so this is the target platform version of your Android device. So the latest one is Android 9. Um, I don't have 9 uh, on my Android device. Mine is latest one is probably 8. So you need to double check what version of Android device you have. 
so this will be your target and um, you can also build for the older version of Android if you install the SDK so let's say I want to install at least 5.0 the lowest so I might want to check all of this okay but if you want to save time and you want only to target the version of your device double check what Android version you have and just install that but to be on the safe side just click uh, several of the Android version so let's say yours is 8.1 you might want to install 8.0 and 7.1 as well right again for mine because the, the lowest version of Android device I have is 5.0 I might want to have this as well and then click apply it will install all the SDK accept click next and it will do the installation process so this will take a while as well and we'll continue after uh, this is done all right uh, we're done so click finish and that's it so it took me quite a while to download everything so uh, it might be good just to choose um, the few ones that close to your version of Android otherwise it will take a very long time all right so we're done with this and now we're going to go to unity so I'm going to open unity so I'm going to create a new project so let's call this AR export test and create I can close this so there are some settings in unity that you need to apply before you're able to export and there also are some settings that you need to do on your Android phone in order to make it work you can open your existing um, Android sorry uh, you can open your existing exercise uh, the last time we did in in class can I install version the new version is to uh, oh there's a new version no, never mind mine is not really the latest alright so we're here and what I want to do now is create no go to file build settings again remember you can use the old um, exercise that we did in class to, uh, to do this so I'm going to switch to Android and switch platform all right and then I'm going to go to my play settings under XR, I need to make sure that my uh, Vuforia is uh, selected. And then in other settings, um, package name, we need to change this. So it's com dot your name or your company name, then dot your app name. So mine is, let's go Razif, and then ER test. So this is the um, the version that we installed earlier in our Android Studio. So let's say the minimum is 4.1, then we need to have that uh, SDK in our uh, install. Uh, we need to have that SDK installed in our Android. So, so in our Android Studio. So let's say the latest that I'm targeting now is Marshmallow. No, not the latest, the minimum, right? And then the uh, target it will always be the highest. Right? So if you don't have um, the rest of it installed in Android Studio, just choose uh, the one, the closest one that you have. All right. So what else do we need? Um, scroll down, and then install location. You change this, change this to automatic. Uh, internal Android TV compatibility you uncheck Android game you can just leave it as is let's double check again 
All right, so that's done. Um, this is okay. So before we do anything, I want to configure this view so that it will be a portrait. And then um, I'm going to add my Vuforia AR camera. Right, there are certain things needs to be imported here. And of course I need to have my um, UI, sorry, Vuforia image target. So image. Would you like to import default database? Yes. I don't have any database um, downloaded yet or installed here yet. So I'm going to use the default. So if you have your own database, you don't need to install this. So I'm using the default um, Vuforia image target. Remember how we did last time? If you have your own database, you need to upload to Vuforia website and then download the SDK, sorry, download the database, install it, and it will install to your project. And then you also need to add in the key. Well, let's go to AR camera. Then you need to put the key, license key, add license. So I'm not going to do that here for this testing. So image target, I'm going to use astronaut. Let's see if I have my astronaut card here. And then that's it. So I'm going to, no, image target is not attached to camera, it's standalone. Now I'm going to attach a 3D object, a cube. Stay over there. Let's double check. Define. Yours will be user defined. And then you can select your database. Oh, sorry, it's still predefined. And then you can select your own database. Image target, astronaut. Alright. Yeah, that's my astronaut. Also small. And then my cube is very big. I might just for testing. All right, so I'm going to test the, the camera, see whether it works or not. So this is my cube. All right, so my cube is very big. Anyway, it works. So I'm going to export it to my device. Before that, uh, let me reduce the cube. Maybe it's 0 0.5. All right, so that'll do. So I'm going to save scene. And under build setting, make sure that your scene is selected or added to the build. And then before we do anything else, we need to go to our preference. Edit, that preference. Go to external tools, scroll down, and you'll see Android and some path here. So what we need is the SDK and JDK. Since we already installed in the default location, when we click browse, you will see that it has already detected the SDK. So you can just click yes. So in the latest version of Unity, you don't need to remember the path. Basically, it will automatically detect for you if this has been installed properly. So yes, now you have the path already set and you can close this. So next is I'm going to try and export. But before that, what we need is to make sure that our phone is set to developer mode. If you have already done it uh, in mobile app 2, I don't think you need to do it again. But anyway, let's bring the phone. Um, so all you need to go is go to the system settings. And then there will be something about if you don't if you do you will see developer options here only if you have activate uh, or you have turned it on so most probably if you have not done so you won't see this so in order for you to show this you need to go to your let's go to about phone and then to click your 
build number several times so you can see that there's no need you you already a developer because I already switch it on but for you if you don't have developer mode on you need to click on this several times the build number then you will see it will see that developer mode is on and you will see the developer option tap on the developer option you want to make sure that the device debugging or USB debugging is switched on All right anything else I don't think you need to I don't think you need to do anything else let me check yep I think that's fine All right so we have that let me put this to the side and I'm going to go to file build setting again and I'm going to change the Gradle to internal and see now whether it works or not. So same thing, we're going to do build and run. Here are tests. Click save. And let's see what happened. Again, make sure your phone is active, otherwise it will not be able to install. Alright, so now it's deploying to my device. And so I'll see this on my phone. I'm going to click allow. So I need the camera. And it's launching. So now I'm going to scan. Oh, hold on, it's not on yet. Alright, so let's scan. There you go. That's my floating cube. Alright, so it works. So that's how you. Um, export to Android and once you manage to export it you can basically detach your USB cable and you can just bring it around with you without um, connecting to the USB anymore um, because it's already installed alright so that's it next we're going to try and do it for iOS